All righty, all righty. <laughs> so here we are. We're at Cracker Barrel. I'm all set up. Hey, I think it's time to go live. <laughs> all right. So welcome, welcome, everybody. I'm going to try to get you set up over here. We got the sun going down through the trees. It's looking pretty good. I'm spinning you around. And you want to see the sunset a little bit? I'll wait till it gets a little better. We got a road right over here to my right, <laughs> which is, it's not Interstate 95. I'm off of I-95. Uh, but we're at a Cracker Barrel. I got here about a half an hour ago and got things set up and thought, hey, <laughs> we're going to go live. So I saw Stitch in here as well. Uh, let's get my phone open so I can see stuff. <laughs> yep, I made it, Stitch. I sure did. I actually went further than I was planning on going. And if you guys don't know uh, or remember, I'm traveling down in North Carolina, and that's the state I'm in right now. Um, I believe. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm in North Carolina, but we're going to the Woolly Swamp North Carolina Hammock Hang. All right. So that's their first annual. I just talked to James a little while ago and uh, I talked to uh, Re Rewild uh, as well. Oh, I'm going to see if I can get our comments up on here. Oh, yeah. Oh, there we are. There's me. Can't this can't be played in background? No, I don't know what to say. Oh, don't tell me I can't watch it myself. What? Uh, I'm gonna try to. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was talking, so I got the comments up over here so that I'm not going like this in the screen all night. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'd have to get glasses on. Y'all laugh and maybe. Make some fun of me. <laughs> All right. So uh, we got Stitch in the house. There's Ed Chaos. How you doing? There's Sean's Adventures. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Wild Ones. Uh, hey, KN. How are you doing? Uh, there's Rick Thomas. Uh, so I did throw a comment in there myself while I was waiting, saying, hey, we're about ready to go live. Uh, Cracker Barrel is a good choice, says Gene. And Gene and I were talking, uh, well, we were texting back and forth a couple minutes ago. And I see he asked a question here. He does work for the post office, was asking if the uh, anybody else having um, slow mail. Hey, 12 Stones, how are you doing? Uh, 12 Stones Adventures. How's the, can you guys hear the road? Is it too noisy? I can't tell. Hey, Mike. <laughs> I didn't get down to you yet. Uh, let's see. So I went in to use the bathroom at Cracker Barrel quick. And, um, there's a big note on the door that says their grills broken and being repaired, but they did have oven food. I wasn't planning on eating any food either. <laughs> Anyhow, cause I got a whole tub of stuff here. Ooh. And I got some Louisiana crunch cakes right down there. Hoping to make a couple people some Louisiana crunch cakes while I'm down here. The 2.0 style with the pineapple upside down cake. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, euphoric uh, granny. Welcome, welcome. And uh, there's uh, William. How are you doing? Uh, so remember, put the three question marks in because that's going to really help my eyes <laughs> and jump out as well. All uh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Rewild Outdoors is still driving. Uh, him and I were talking. He's He's got a nine hour drive. I had a almost eight hours. I left around. Oh, I think I think it was just about 10 o'clock this morning. And I came down I-95 around Washington, D.C. and stuff. Um, and then I was going to stop more north and then kind of split the drive like maybe five hours and three hours tomorrow <laughs> but it was too early to stop driving and i felt good i got out a couple times walked around and uh thought ah let's see if there's a cracker barrel even closer and i found this one so i'm about an hour away maybe an hour and a half away from where i'm going uh tomorrow so that'll be really good hey rick how are you doing uh yeah yeah uh Hey, Carl. <laughs> Lower Michigan Adventures looks pretty. Yeah, it's nice down here, brother. Yeah, <laughs> I was thinking I could do a stealth camp here, but 
they let you camp. <laughs> well, they let you overnight sleep here. Uh, but I was looking at the woods over on that side. That was, <laughs> it looks pretty nice. Like I could park the car here and go sleep over there. All right. Hey, Mike Burgess, how are you doing? I don't know if it's going to be like me looking down at the phone all night, but let me turn you around here and see this sunset again. Over my shoulder. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it. Lower Michigan, thank you so much for that super chat. Awesome, awesome, brother. Thank you so much. That helped pay for the gas for me getting down here. But, hey, I'll tell you what, the Subaru has done amazing. Um because I just had the top end service done and I, I believe I got better gas mileage than I have been getting. I went 414 miles on, um, and I still got over a quarter of a tank left, which is pretty cool. All righty. Hey, Robert Garcia. Hello from Long Island. Awesome. Uh, there's Carl again. There's PTL Fabrications. Hello, all. <laughs> Hello, Tony. Hello to all from Pennsylvania. Well, I was in Pennsylvania this morning. <laughs> yeah, and I'll be coming back next week. All right. There's. All right. It's, hey, Rachel. Rachel, how are you doing? Hello. Uh, this is my first time watching. Hey. Uh, you live awesome well thank you so much and uh euphoric grannies in illinois right now hey we got janice price hello everyone from kentucky i don't think i'm too far from kentucky either <laughs> if i know my geography right <laughs> well kind of a little drive that way <laughs> yeah hey joseph kelly all right so i'm gonna keep scrolling there's jake the Oregon boy, brother, how are you doing? There's Bob Clark and Tyler. There's my brother, Mike, all the way from Pennsylvania, too. Hey, Dale, how are you doing? Uh, from Central PA. All righty. Lots of PAs in the house. And 2D Woods. Hello from Iowa. Oh, awesome. I don't know what the temperature is where you are, but when I was looking at the map or the weather, uh, on planning on coming down. Oh, there's a squirrel. <laughs> a real one. <laughs> Not just me going, squirrel. Let's see if we can see him. I should get the game cam out. He's over there in the grass running. Uh, see if I can turn it. Uh, here's the squirrel. I don't know if you can see him. He's right over there. Uh, somewhere over there. Squirrel. Oh, dinner. <laughs> no, <laughs> just kidding. All right. Uh, so let's see. Oh, where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? There's Ed again. There's Roy. Hey, Roy. How are you doing? All righty, all righty. <laughs> What's up, Tony? Uh, Marinetta, Georgia here. Oh, awesome. Hey, Chad. Ah, uh, there you go. Let's see. Did I get down to the bottom of the comments almost? I can't see that one. Uh, oh, Bearded Viking. Hey, brother. How you doing? Oh, New Walmart, New Jersey. Uh, couldn't find Louisiana Crunch Cakes. I almost couldn't find them. But sometimes they're not always in the bakery where everything is. Um, they're, sometimes they put them near the self-checkout. At least, at least the one I go to does. And I spotted them and I snagged six of them. <laughs> yeah. All right. Hey, there's a hike with Mike. How are you doing, brother? Hey, Todd. We got, let's see, William Simpson. How are you doing, brother? Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. I love wildlife, says Lower Michigan Adventures. Hey, Red Fox Outdoors. Hello from Texas. Howdy. <laughs> yeah, I think I do that in Texas, right? Yeah. Uh, Kimberly, how are you doing, Kimberly? There's Sarah Cave. All right. And then we got Dale Rose. Tony, um, in your last video, uh, were you up around Tamaqua? I saw that. I saw someone. It might have been you that asked that if I was near Tamaqua. No. <laughs> so 
not too far from Elysburg, but I know where Tamako is. Um, I've been over towards Tamako quite a few times, but no, that wasn't, that wasn't, I think there's a very similar looking, uh, coal, um, what is that? Like a power coal fire power plant. I think there's one similar to that over, uh, over there in Tamaqua, close to Tamaqua. There we go. All right. Uh, hey, Cushion the Bush, how are you doing, brother? Hey, I was just wondering, I was really, really, um, I was going to send him a message. Hidden Hammock, I haven't seen him for a while. I saw it's about three months. Hopefully he's okay. Uh, if you know so, just give me a thumbs up or something like that down in the comments. Yep, Stealth Camping Alliance. All right. Uh, let's see. Hey, Soma from Australia. I've got a lot of, <laughs> a lot of, uh, about 12% of my views come from Australia. So, hey, guys, welcome. I'm glad y'all are watching over there. You got a lot different animals over there than what we over have over here instead of squirrel. It's probably kangaroo. <laughs> That's too long to say. <laughs> All right. So, ever had a ramen bomb on a stealth camp? Um, uh, yes, I did. So if anybody doesn't know what a ramen bomb is, um, hey, Jason, thanks for that question. Uh, a rama bomb, ramen bomb is a ramen noodle packet. And then you mix in um, the like Idaho potatoes. You mix that in with the in with the ramen noodles makes it awesome <laughs> and thick. <laughs> so uh, but when you're hiking and burning a lot of calories, that's a great way to get extra calories, uh, throwing the mashed potatoes in there as well. You guys can hear me okay, I'm hoping. <laughs> I haven't, haven't heard anybody say, I can't hear you. Uh, let's see. Good evening. All righty, Leonard, how are you doing? Hey, Joyce, how are you doing? Hi, Tony. Uh, we're going to uh, get rain soon in Washington State. Yeah, for the last three days, it's been pouring in Pennsylvania. Uh, when I woke up this morning, very overcast, cloudy, and I drove, and I got to Maryland, and then the sky cleared. But then uh, from Maryland all the way down to here in North Carolina, it's been raining off and on all day. Um, and it was 87 degrees down here when I was looking at the weather for the last couple of days, I'm like, ooh, 87, what? <laughs> We're driving down there. And I think tonight it's supposed to get down to 37. And so it's a little chilly on the fingers right now, but not too bad. All right. Uh, last we heard, he's okay, uh, but that's about it. Oh, thank you very much, uh, Cushion the Bush. Yeah, I, I just, I may I'll send him a message. I was, I keep thinking of trying to, cause he used to jump on every once in a while, but I know ever since he got back from the Philippines, I, we haven't heard from him or seen a video. Hope he's okay. We'll just continue to lift him up in prayer. Uh, Tony, I'll watch you on the uh, replay. 2 a.m. comes early. Yes, it does. Lower Michigan. Well, you take care and good night from North Carolina. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, Todd, how are you doing? Uh, let's uh, look. Let's hook up. Let's hook up. Uh, get a great stealth camping spot. My place. I'm all in. Well, Todd, that sounds awesome. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I don't know who's um, going to be coming over to the. Um, I always said Mossy. It's, it's Wooly Swamp campground that's in snow hill pennsylvania snow hill north carolina <laughs> yeah you can tell i drove seven hours yeah hey josh and jen how y'all doing uh yeah jen is at work well hopefully she gets off soon uh let's see uh, i got the thumbs up from jason so y'all can hear me pretty good uh getting Getting some popcorn. Awesome. <laughs> you 
Granny, that's awesome. 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 I love popcorn. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, can hear can hear you loud and clear. Awesome, Gene. Thank you so much. Like I said, I, I'm I feel weird looking at this instead of looking up here. Uh, but I can't see that one as good. I mean, I'd be going like this. Uh, <laughs> so I'm just looking down for a minute, but I'll keep looking up. Oh, we got Darlene Good. Hi, everyone. Hey, Darlene. <laughs> welcome, welcome. I'm glad you made it on. I, like I said, I wasn't sure if I was going to do this tonight, uh, be able to do it. But I thought I was going to try because, as you notice, we didn't have a video. I'm going to turn you to that sunset. Man, the clouds will get different. So I was, sun's right over, to, just set right over there. Um, through those pines i love pines <laughs> yeah not under a pine right now um but yeah let's see i think i missed somebody hey todd let's see uh pm me um uh weird place great chance yeah uh todd it would be easier if you could um maybe send me an email um, because that way I always see my emails. I'm I'm tough with PM and <laughs> not always sure how that works. Uh, let's see. Brandon, welcome to North Carolina. Lots of stealthy spots here, uh, especially. Oh, okay. Jordan Lake. Ooh, nice. Yeah, I'm, you know, driving down. I, I've driven when I when I went to Florida to the um, Hancon. You know, that's one thing. I was born in North Carolina. Many of you don't know, but uh, my dad was in the Air Force. I was born in North Carolina, Fayetteville, actually. Um, so driving up and down through here. Now, I didn't be I haven't been off of I-95 too much um, because mainly it's just going up and down. But everything that I saw from I-95, I've seen a lot of spots that I'm like, oh, I can park there and walk over there go in there so yeah no i love north carolina and let's see i'm gonna scroll here a second again oh let's see okay i gotta find where i left off there we go hey anthony how are you doing uh you know awesome brother glad you're here uh, David P. Hey, Tony. Uh, hope you're having a good trip. Yeah, so far so good. It's been really nice. Um, but I'm going to port y'all over here this way. See the car. See, I already got the lights on in there. So that's the uh, ferry lights. So got those in there. So I'm set up right here on this side is the bed. So when I go to sleep, I'll take this, which is all the food that I brought, and that'll go on top of there. I do have two um, backpacks. I've got the 55 liter, and I also got the one, uh, the 36 liter Osprey. The 36 liter one I've got actually filled <laughs> with uh, a lot of cooking cooking equipment uh, because I wasn't sure what I was going to cook, how I was going to cook, how, how those things were going to work. Uh, so I just brought a lot of stuff. So we're powering the refrigerator uh, with the Vitomin, but I do have the other power bank up front just to plug the phone into while I'm driving instead of running off of this one. Because this one I got up at, well, just from driving, it's at 99% still. It's got 19 coming out of it uh, just for the refrigerator. Because I, I don't know if I'm going to make a cup of coffee or not. I may, I might. I don't know if I'll do it while you guys are on. I might wait. Ah, those clouds are. I, I want the clouds to get pink, and then I'll show you guys the, the sunset. I don't know if they will or not. Oh, I'm going to sit down for a minute. So is anybody uh, placing an order? I can always pick it up and maybe do a DoorDash. <laughs> oh, it's going to be silly. Uh, let's see. I got to scroll back up. Hey, Bob Clark, uh, low 50s and rainy here in North Idaho. Wow. Yeah, Tony. Uh, Lost and is lost and needs our help. <laughs> right. Yeah. Hey, old and cracking in, brother. How are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I always need help. <laughs> hey, Mike M. How are you doing? 
uh, watching from northern Ke or southern Kentucky. Nice. Uh, you're exactly two hours and 45 minutes from me. What? Oh, that is cool. Well, if y'all think about it, I mean, if I'm going to be um, Friday evening, Saturday, and part of Sunday, if not uh, how long Sunday, but on Saturday, I know definitely if, if anybody wanted to come over to Mossy, uh, scratch that, not Mossy. <laughs> I always do this. Uh, Woolly Swamp uh, in Snow Hill. It's the campground in Snow Hill. Come on over and say hi. All right. So, hey, Paul, how are you? Paul Camps, too. Oh, Paul's my middle name. Yeah. Uh, every evening, everyone. Uh, wow. Six inches of snow here in New Hampshire. That's no fun. <laughs> I don't want any more snow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, let's see. <laughs> see i can't tap on these to put the comments up so i have to tap over there but i just read stitches comment to old and crack to say it hey lester awesome brother how are you doing lots of gold in north carolina you know i was thinking of that too on the way down uh because i know your yuri state park uh, you and I talked about that before my stroke. We were thinking of going down in that area and doing a little bit of gold panning. Yeah. And I know uh, Benzo, um, Benzo, he does a lot of gold panning over there. And I think y'all have a big get together. And I've always wanted to do that. We'll have to definitely do that sometime. But welcome, Lester. Uh, great seeing you. <laughs> I really miss, miss doing gold panning with you, brother. Let's see. I agree with Stitch, Darlene saying. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm scrolling. I want to get caught up again. Hey, Dixie Cup. <laughs> yeah, so we're live tonight instead, uh, instead of a camp. Because remember, I said um, coming out of our Sunday night live, it was going to be really rainy and windy. In fact, we had, um, I know, huge gusts poured it was raining and i had to get the car all set up not that it's not normally set up it's pretty much set up for car camping all the time but i wanted to get a couple things out a couple things in uh just go over it a little bit uh do some things so i did that and then um lisa's uncle don um what had passed away that was her dad's brother passed away and there was a funeral yesterday that we had gone to um so I knew I wouldn't be able to camp Tuesday night into, into Wednesday because we had the funeral that was early. Uh, and then I knew I wouldn't be able to camp Wednesday into Thursday morning, which if I usually if I do a Wednesday or a Thursday, I can still get a video up because I, the way I edit and how I edit and when I edit. Uh, so I would have been able to do that, but I was planning on leaving very early this morning or pretty much early and usually when i camp overnight um and with all the editing and making the video i'm very tired uh i would have still been able to make the drive but i've been really wiped out uh, so i want to be all set now i did start recording a little bit uh just saying what we were doing so i've got a couple things recorded saying that we we're going live tonight for next thursday's video uh so i'll be doing that and that's going to be uh this weekend yeah okay let's see hey dan how are you doing dan hendrix uh welcome to uh rayford uh north carolina love your awesome videos well i appreciate that i really do See, I'm gonna look for squirrels. <laughs> I don't know if we can we can walk. I can walk you over here. Get a little closer to the pines. I want to see what kind of pine this is in here. I love these long needle pines. Hopefully we keep all of our reception. Yeah. Um oh look at that background. Woohoo. <laughs> so 
Yeah, these aren't the ones you can drink. <laughs> no, I don't believe, no. Usually it's a five needle pine. Yeah, northern white pine. Wow, that's got flowers on it, a button already. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, you guys are uh, down here in North Carolina. Y'all are budding a lot faster than we are up north. Of course, <laughs> you're closer to the equator. <laughs> Tony just talking, saying stuff just to fill, fill time, right? All right. So, hey, Chad uh, says pouring rain in PA now and calling for 10 centimeters of snow Friday and Saturday. Ooh, not good. I think that's supposed to be PA. P-E-I. <laughs> so, uh, hey, Barbara Everett, how you doing? There we go. There's Dave. How are you doing, Dave? Hi, Tony. Uh, love the show. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Oh, Chad. Yeah, sorry for the loss. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah, loss is tough. We've had a lot of, just... A lot of loss everywhere uh, lately. Um, yeah, with Glenn, um, Steve, camping with Steve's uh, friend. And now, um, Hobo Shoestring. Someone brought that up on Sunday, and I really wasn't quite sure who they were talking about saying he was lost. But now I see that Hobo Shoestring is lost. Oh, I like the clouds. I'm going to show you this way. The clouds. Even though I look awesome, right? <laughs> with the pines right behind me. I don't know if you can see the clouds. See the clouds. Focus on the clouds. No, that's not doing it. Oh, well. <laughs> we tried. There's clouds over there. There's blue sky, too, but it all looks white in there. There's Cracker Barrel. It's smelling good. <laughs> Let's turn this way. See how that looks. Oh, there's a flagpole over there. It's very windy. I'm protected by these p pines right now. Benny Hodges. Oh, thank you so much for that super sticker. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate that. Yes. Are you married, Tony? Euphoric uh, is asking. Uh, married to Miss 2.0, who's working tonight. Uh, she should be jumping on. Uh, but her name's Lisa, and we've been married for oh, almost a couple years shy of 40 years. <laughs> yep, 1987 we got married. And we had six kids. We didn't want any when we got married. Don't tell anybody. Uh, but we ended up having six. <laughs> and now we have eight grandkids. Yeah. We changed our mind. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Prince Edward Island. Thank you very much, Stitch. <laughs> Stitch is my go-to for everything. <laughs> I appreciate that. Uh, yeah. Hey, Carrie. And it says, uh, watch out for uh, our airplane-like mosquitoes. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's not going to be fun. If, uh, but I do have a bug net this weekend. so. And I've also got old and cracked dated. I brought the bug net room up. I'm not sure if I'll be able to set that up too. But I even thought of doing the hammock underneath the bug net room to give more people a... Or I might, depending on how crowded it is, I might pick two more trees or a couple trees because I got the green elephant poles. I need a couple of trees to, to hook that up because of the supports. But I have the green elephant poles. And I've got something else I'm going to take a look at. Uh, Aamea, uh, which is what my original underquilt was. Because I bought it off of Amazon. It was cheap. <laughs> uh, but um, the they uh, sent me to check out a... A oh, canopy that goes off the back of the car, a big tarp. It's a 14 by 16 foot tarp. And it go, hooks to, it's got a strap that hooks to the um, luggage rack. And then there's two straps on the other two corners that go down to your tires and you run it off the back. I'm sure you can run it off a couple different ways uh, and see things, but there's our car right over there. Oh, now you can see the clouds. Yeah, I think we're going to have a better chance of seeing the sunset that way. Yeah. Well, not see the sunset that way because the sun's setting over there. But see the effects of the sunset. 
Ah, so beautiful. It really is. Man, after uh, not seeing the sun for days, <laughs> you know, and then all of a sudden it comes out. And that's why when I get too close to it, it does that. It focuses on me instead of the clouds. I wonder if I put my little light on. Try to get some front lighting. No, that does it too. We'll have to do that later. But I can always stand back a little further. Get my O light O bulb off of there. Yeah. Okay. What do we got here? Where are you at a Walmart? No, Dixie Cup. I was going to go to a Walmart. It was, but all Walmarts aren't always um, good to stay at because a lot of them have been abused over. Um, over time just because people set up and stay there for like a month <laughs> with no tar tires on their cars and things like that so walmart kind of cut back on allowing people to stay there uh so but not all walmarts there are a lot of walmarts still where you can can stay at but it's always best to check and i'm not always um uh comfortable as comfortable at walmart depends uh as i am uh, cracker barrels. So I am at a Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrels allow you to stay on their premises. Um, they're usually park over at the uh, RV, the RV parking, bus parking. They'll let you stay overnight there. And then in the morning, you come in for breakfast or coffee uh, or just leave. Uh, but they are very, very um, popular uh, for people that want to stay overnight. And they, they don't mind at all. And I usually go in and tell them, hey, I'm here. I'm going to stay overnight. And I usually get a cup of coffee. I didn't do that tonight. Uh, but we'll see how many people uh, that start pulling in. When I was talking to James <laughs> from um, that's having the event this week and helping to organize it, I told him where I was at. He, it's a rock mountain. He says, oh. There's a lot of thugs up there in that area. I don't know if he was joking with me or not, but he says, be careful. <laughs> I'm like, hope there's no thugs up here. Yeah. Yeah. Always enjoy your content, says Benny. Well, thank you so much, Benny. Yeah, it's crazy uh, with shoestring. Yeah. Uh, the authorities uh, really aren't uh, doing a lot to look for him. Uh, he's a really a good guy and hope he's well. Yeah, I've, I've listened to some uh, different reports um, and watched some short videos on it. Like I said, I didn't, I never knew his channel. Uh, I'm going to walk this way. <laughs> I never, oh, I think, can you see his son? No, it's down over the, down over, I was going to say the mountain, but I don't think we can see it. Uh, but yeah, watching um, Shoestring, he, um, Hobo Shoestring, he did a lot of train hopping. Uh, very, very, um, very neat videos, and and but very just listening to what they're talking about that he was at the hospital until 4 a.m. and then went home, and then his door was locked. All of his none of his hobo gear is gone, uh, but his mom and um, sister came up and reported did a missing persons report so i'm not sure um i haven't heard anything today because i was driving i really want to get that in focus you can just see through the trees there it's pink right there <laughs> yeah all right but yeah we'll be definitely praying for him william um and if anybody doesn't know who hobo shoestring is check him out on the internet and um or just put in the name and, and you can listen to uh, some updates. There's a lot of YouTubers doing uh, updates uh, with, with him. Okay. Hey, Melissa MD Gons, how are you doing? Hello, Tony. Uh, good evening, 2.0 family. All righty. Maria, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, did I say Maria? I'm not sure. But Maria, I got your card. Thank you so much. I I had a little trouble reading the, the signature. Um, 
but I'm thinking it was you. I'm pretty sure it was you. Thank you so much for that Easter card. Really, what a blessing. Yeah. Any evergreen you can uh, make a tea. Oh. Oh. See, I uh, like spruce, pine, fir, cedar. Okay. Yeah, I'd heard that some some pines you weren't. There were some that you should stay away from. I don't know if that's scrub scrub pine, uh, but I, I I thought I know the the um, long needle pine. I like that tea. That's very good. And you always think it's not real strong. The tea itself isn't really strong, uh, but very high in vitamin C. <laughs> PTL Fabrications, while wow, married since 86. Uh, we did it in 85. Takes work. Uh, but here we are. Absolutely. And congratulations. Yeah. So uh, Lisa and I were October 2nd, uh, 1987 was our, our wedding date. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's a bummer. Oh. Yeah, so uh, to me, the uh, hey, aquariums, how are you doing? Aquarium animals and me found to me. The uh, oh, he doesn't want to be found. <laughs> yeah, yeah, welcome. Egg Chaos is asking a question here. Uh, should grab some. Of that pine. Oh, grab some of the pine light while I'm there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it looked like we had a lot of pine down there. Uh, just from what I saw on the pictures. Yeah. Uh, make sure I'm caught up. That light. Yeah. Yeah. Use it as a fire starter, <laughs> right? Uh, yeah, I don't know if uh, at the campground, if it's just going to be like one community fire and you really can't have your own. Um, so that's that's one thing. I'm just going to keep moving you around because I want you all to see different aspects of the. Oh, look at that big word. <laughs> yeah, here we are. There's the Subi. Yeah. So. Yeah. So, like I said, this is. Uh, vehicle that we drove down in. You can see the fairy lights. I've got the five gallon water jug. I've drank almost a gallon of it already uh, within the last couple of days. But that's all charged up. So I'm all um, ready for the weekend. Uh, I am really all set. Peter Viking says uh, yes, Norfolk Island Pine and Ponderosa. Pines are toxic. Yeah, absolutely. Ponderosa. So I don't believe that's a ponderosa, but I don't. I don't think that's um, one you could drink. I. I don't know. I only know the long needle pine, um, just because of the. <laughs> I studied it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Hey, New Zealand aquariums, animals, and me. Welcome, welcome. Uh, let's see. Tony, I hope uh, they find Shoestring. Yeah, he had gone uh, missing before, really, in 2017. Um, but the concern is he had left the hospital not feeling well and um, went home. Yeah, the doctors wanted him to stay. Yeah, from what I understand, he had he had checked himself out because he didn't have insurance. Uh, went home and said he was having some delusions, but all of his doors on his apartment were locked, and uh, he he um, he wasn't there. And I think his wallet, and all that stuff was there. All of his hobo gear, like doing train hop gear, all of his camping gear was still at the house. Everything was there, and um, so that's 
that's what's really, really concerning about that. So I just hope nothing nefarious has happened. Party down, Tony says, Larry Outdoors. Hey, Dennis, how you doing? Uh, what happened to the car carrier? Oh, Dennis, I took the car carrier off when I did the Subaru uh, dealership. I wanted to be more stealthy because <laughs> with the car carrier and having all, oh, having all the travel uh, stuff on it, uh, you stick out like a sore thumb <laughs> for, for stealth camping. So everything because i'm not going on the trip across america uh everything that i would have had in there for like shorter trips fits in the car so what it taught me a lot when i drove um to california and back i took a, a bunch of stuff with us that i had up in the car care there was some stuff that needed to stay up there but Slowly, I worked things down in that I was using on a regular basis that I thought would be up there, would be better down here. Um, and then since then, I mean, it's a year now, um, with the car carry on, definitely got way better gas mileage coming here. Because like I said, I think that's one of the factors too. Um, but I had taken that off a couple, about a month ago, because I was going to be doing the... Um, stealth camp at the subaru dealer and i wouldn't have blended <laughs> they would have definitely known it wasn't a car for sale uh, prayers for guns family yeah timothy uh ryan uh prayers for uh glenn's family definitely definitely uh yeah right now dennis i'm over at a cracker barrel you and i had uh, breakfast at a cracker barrel when i slept at the cracker barrel when i came down to see you on my way out uh to california uh but i'm over in rock mountain i believe it is rock mountain man it, it smells <laughs> i'm smelling steak <laughs> so, that's not good i don't want to smell that right now Hey, Tony, I'm watching uh, from Battleground, Indiana, home of the Battle of uh, Tipakanu. <laughs> I think that's how it's said. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up, Stitch, if I said it right. <laughs> hey, Aaron, how are you doing? Uh, how can it be... Uh, so daylight at 7 40 p.m because we jumped ahead <laughs> with uh daylight savings time so now the clock when we move the clock ahead but every day until june 21st it gets lighter and lighter um and then at june 21st it'll start getting darker again i believe a minute or two minutes that gets lighter every couple uh but nice nice that it's 7 40 is that what time it is already? Oh, 7.42. It's nice that it's it's this bright. <laughs> yeah. But I think the sunset is around seven, this time. I uh, was hoping to meet up with you while you was in North Carolina. Yeah, Dennis, I think I remember seeing on a live um, mentioned about maybe coming over to the to that campground i'm not sure for how far away you are from from the campground but i'll be there uh rewild sean from rewild will be there as well uh outdoors will both be there and we're already talking about a little bit on the phone earlier about getting together and trying to do something because if i set that canopy up i'll probably do a little quick display review of it not that i'm gonna you know use it and i want to set it up because i'll have some time <laughs> maybe i will <laughs> i don't know uh but i told um sean he might check it out too and maybe film some of that as well i don't know we're gonna see how everything goes <laughs> it's the light reflecting from the santa beard gene says <laughs> 
Yeah. Yeah, it's getting it's getting big. It's getting I have to trim it again a little bit. They say you should cut the tips off. Uh it's darker here because I'm surrounded by mountains. Olin Crackadate says, Yeah. Yeah, the mountains definitely um uh, uh, definitely make it uh cloudy. Uh yeah, Dennis, um maybe if you can text me that way. I, because I'll probably be filming at different times. Uh, so if you can text me first and then I can call you um, would be better because if I'm in the middle of filming, it'll go, bzz, 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 you know, ringing on my, on that phone. That's the one I record with. Hey, CA Hans, how are you doing? Timothy says, sounds good. I tried to carry a lot, uh, Carolina <laughs> crunch cake recipe, uh, and it was good. Yeah. Well, maybe since we're in Carolina, we'll have to call it a Carolina crunch cake. Uh, Louisiana crunch cake. Oh, they are awesome. Stick them in the microwave. If you're not going to do the recipe, um, just to make them like they came out of the bakery. <laughs> yeah. Sounds good. Dennis says, sounds good. All right. Uh, my favorite at Cracker Barrel is the is the pot pie. Ooh, that sounds good. They serve beer here. Um, really, most or beer? Yeah, I thought it said bear. Uh, Oh, I didn't know that. A lot, a lot of them don't, but maybe di that's different in different states. Yeah, good night, Larry. Take care. Yeah, I just made a pot roast. <laughs> Remind me of pot pie. Look lighter on camera, I guess. Yeah, Aaron, it does always look lighter on camera. Absolutely. I'm looking at um, the picture here coming across. Yeah, I make it lighter, too, when I get close to it. But let me show you what it looks like. It's a little darker in that direction, away from where the sun is. But, I mean, but that's probably better. That'll give you a better idea there. That's about right on, spot on right there, I believe. Oh, let's see. Alabama, yeah, Alabama crunch cake is cracking cornbread. <laughs> uh, hey, Jeremy, how are you doing? Uh, yeah, it's, it's 4.43 p.m. here in Washington State. That's right. You guys are three hours behind, uh, Joyce says. Uh, not much sun today. Supposed to rain all weekend. Oh, I hope it doesn't rain here all weekend. Keep that out west. Yeah. Ooh, snook in the woods. We're on a park. Oh, nice, nice. Uh, Dennis says, uh, got to go. Uh, I'll be in touch tomorrow night all. Well, we'll see you, Dennis. You have a great night. All right. Let's see. Makes sense. Jess Lou, hi from Alabama. Love watching your videos. Well, I appreciate that. I love, I love all y'all watching the videos. I really do. Yeah. Uh, well, we got a hotel right behind me over here through the pines. Let's see. See then, see how it gets light because I'm standing it and wants to focus on me. But there are little street lights there too. Yeah, you can see the green lights. It's gonna get dark. Yeah, we'll give it a little while. You'll see how dark it gets. Uh, but it's already getting getting dark in the around us. But yeah. Yeah, it's the one thing about trying to film. I like to try to film sunsets. Um, when I'm doing a live, it works better using the up other side of the camera. Hey, Kathy, how are you doing? Uh, let's see. 
Uh, hi, Tony uh, from North Carolina. Guess what? That's where I'm at. <laughs> I wish I could meet you. I love your channel. Well, awesome, Kathy. Yeah, well, come on over to Mossy's. Uh, not Mossy. Uh, I keep saying that. Uh, come on over to um, <laughs> Wooly. Wooly Swamp. I was driving all the way down here going, Wooly, 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 Wooly. <laughs> so I wouldn't, wouldn't say Mossy, and I still say Mossy. All right. That looks more like it. Yeah, 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 Aaron. Cool, cloudy weather here. In California. Oh, wow. Yeah, you guys are uh, all the way three hours behind. Yeah. Looks like a beautiful sunset. Yeah, Chad. Um, ah, it's too bad we couldn't see it uh, drop even further, you know, with the hills and stuff like that and all the pines. Can't really see it going down like you would at the ocean. That'd be cool. You guys get great sunsets, all y'all out there on the West Coast. Hey, Brian Todd, how are you doing? Hi, Tony from Charleston, South Carolina. Already, my uh, family, uh, my mom's side, grew up. Um, in fact, I was in Charleston every once in a while. Um, but uh, Fayetteville, oh, Somerville, South Carolina. My uncle was a deputy sheriff there. Hey, JBK, how are you doing? Uh, you're... Very entertaining. Keep up the great work. Oh, uh, well, thanks. Uh, glad I found your channel, he says. Uh, well, I'm glad you found it, too. Good night to everyone. Uh, going to fix supper. Oh, what's for dinner, Joyce? <laughs> yeah, it's getting about that time out there. Uh, let's see. Uh, love your videos. Just having fun, says love your videos. Uh, you have a great uh, attitude. <laughs> there we go. Uh, always a pleasure watching. Well, I really do appreciate everybody watching. And like I said, I was hoping to get a um, video out this week, but I kind of knew when I looked at the weather and stuff, and I knew that Lisa's um, uncle had passed away on the 27th. I knew we weren't going to be able to um, really get out because of coming down here gonna be coming down here stick that oh light little bulb up there yeah yeah maybe there maybe over here uh i don't know i got old light bulbs all over the place one there one there one over here <laughs> yeah let me see if i can turn this one on it's getting dark There we go. And I'll move closer and I'll sit down. Oh. Yeah. All right. Hopefully, hopefully everybody's having a great week. Yeah, we got 103 people watching and I'm just talking away. <laughs> All you saw was my beard moving. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, oh, turn it. Oh, turn it. There we go. That's uh, looking good. So you can see the highway right over there. <laughs> and uh, I'll get this old light old bulb turned off. We don't need that one. Stick it up here on magnet. <laughs> yeah. So like I was saying earlier, um, this is the side. Well, right where I'm sitting. This is where I sleep. I sleep back in here. Pull it straight back. And on that side is the power bank, the refrigerator. And then all my cooking stuff, backpack. And then between the two seats, the driver and passenger seat, behind the driver's seats where I have the five gallons of water with the USB port to fill up bottles. Uh, and then, oh, hammock. Um, the, I, the, I got the hot tent in here as well. And the hot tent stove is in here uh, behind the passenger seat. There's other stuff. Yeah, that canopy that goes out of here, right in here, that's where I 
keep the green elephant extension poles and then also some saws to process wood is right in there yeah i think after all this time we've got it set up pretty good um you know what works and you know it's very easy to change depending on what we're going to do um to be able to get a video done <laughs> yeah uh, let's see. Do we got more comments? Yeah, we did. Those trees are beautiful. Yeah, they are, Ern. Okay. I think I'm... I think I am done to comments. Let's see. Oh, there's Mike saying something down there. Let me see if I can see it up here. Oh, no, <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> I'm looking, but I can't see it. Ah, put that there. Uh, well, I guess I'll, I guess I'm getting, Mike says, well, I guess I'm getting off here, uh, getting to go somewhere here in Western Kentucky area. Y'all safe. Yeah, stay safe, brother. Yeah, like I said, I was going to make a cup of coffee. I was going to do that because um, I got them. <laughs> look, look here. So if anybody's coming over, I got a whole, I brought a whole box of that instant coffee. This is the uh, mainstay one, uh, the Swift coffee. You can see there's. Whole bunch of the instant coffees. Anybody that comes over and wanted to try it, they can try it. So I got that for everybody. And I've got the grinder to grind coffee. And I got coffee beans in there. And yeah. <laughs> so uh what am I gonna eat tonight to snack on? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to. But we got pickles, <laughs> some hot pickles. Yeah. Oh, I could eat pickles. Ah. ah, distilling adventures. Thank you so much. God bless you, brother. So that's a super chat because that one's got words on it. Well, God bless you too, brother. I really appreciate that. Oh, I got to get down here on look at my comments. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm caught up. Can't tell. Think I'm caught up. Distilling adventures. Uh, I'm planning on watching. Yeah, at Bearded Adventure. Oh, hello from South Carolina. <laughs> it says it's a <laughs> Costanzo. <laughs> I think that's what it says. Oh, my comments on down on this phone stopped. Hmm. That's weird. Huh. Not sure why. Let's go back in. Oh, there we are. Now we're back. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see. Hey, Richard. You know what I'm gonna do? <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna look goofy. <laughs> so I'm going to make this a little better and interesting. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to put uh, readers on. These are magnifying glasses uh, that I, when I'm doing editing, I like to put these on uh, because it makes the words really big. And then I can see like where to separate stuff. So I thought maybe, oh, because I can't. Oh, that's hurt my eyes. I got to get it up close. And <laughs> now I'm going to be like, this. oh, let's see. Yeah, answer comment. Oh, wow. Yeah. Right there is pretty good. <laughs> uh, let's see. Gene Dutton says, uh, have you ever uh, had garlic dill pickles? No, I haven't. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, it's the Costanza. There we go. That, now I can see the name. Hey, Lou, brother Lou, how are you doing? Uh, I live on the edge of a swamp with gators and other kinds of deadly critters. I wanted to see a gator while I was down in um, 
Florida, but I didn't get a chance to see a gator. Yeah. <laughs> I want to put these back on. I'll use it as a magnifying glass. I'll hold it out this way. <laughs> oh, man, I can use my glasses to start a fire. <laughs> the lens. I used to do that as a kid with a little magnifying glass. I used to do that. Oh, that was that was fun to play around with as long as you don't start a forest fire. Yeah, Beard of Viking says, I hope to catch the eclipse the 8th. Yeah, I'm looking forward to catching it as well. I was trying to figure out, like, maybe I would leave um, early, fairly early on Sunday uh, from North Carolina and drive up towards Buffalo. Uh, but I think I looked, that's, um, it'd take me about 12 hours <laughs> to get up there. But that's supposed to be a clearer sky up there and more of a totality. Stitch and I were looking at that last night. <laughs> he was checking out the NASA charts and everything, helped me try to figure it out. But I, then I thought, well, do I want to drive 12 hours to see it, the total, or do I just want to, eh. <laughs> yeah. The squirrel energy is strong tonight. Yeah, that's good. We saw a squirrel over there. <laughs> yeah, we did. Think I'm caught up? Yeah, Miss 2.0 must be having a rough night at work. Because usually she jumps on. Hammock Mountain, there you are, brother. How are you doing? Hey, Tony, uh, just stopped in uh, for a minute. I'll rewatch the whole live later. Be safe. All right. Well, thank you, brother. You uh, stay safe as well. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Hey, Trapper, how you doing? Uh, yeah. And... Uh, <laughs> Lou says the whole herd. Where's the herd? <laughs> herd of squirrels. Yeah. All right. I'm going to spin you around again. I'm going to turn this light off. This O light O bulb off. And then, ooh, doesn't that look cool? <laughs> so I can change the colors of that. Now you can see the sky's darker. Yeah, you can. Yeah, and if I turn this way, that's the main road right over there. Right there, and then we got Cracker Barrel. They're making me hungry. They can be very hungry. Yeah. And then I'll show you, show you the direction of the sun was setting over there. I'll walk away from it so it gets the true color. Maybe. Maybe. Now, I guess when you do point towards the sun, it still picks up a lot of light. But definitely getting, I keep moving y'all around. I don't want y'all to get get car sick <laughs> or, or tripod sick. That's what we'll call it. Yeah. All right. Uh, let me just check something real quick. I might and see if I can change. Maybe we'll change the lights from red to a different color. Let's go green. <laughs> can y'all see the green? Yeah, I can't see if y'all can see it or not. So those are the ferry lights that I have up on the cargo net, and uh, you can see them there. So we can change the color with the remote. So we can do a couple different things. We can even make it like a disco. <laughs> so, <laughs> now I'm just playing. <laughs> yeah, I dropped the remote. Ah. Yeah, let's see. What other colors do we got here? Ooh, blue. Blue. Yeah, that's blue. I like that. Let's see what this does. Ah, there we go. Now we're strobing. It's like, what is that? Uh, cash cab? <laughs> hey, you just pulled in the cash cab. We're going to pull out some cash and... Uh, See if you can answer some questions. If you can answer some questions before your next stop, well, you win the money. <laughs> Welcome to Cash Cab. <laughs> oh, I'm getting goofy. I did drive a lot today. Ah. And like I said, I was going to stop um, earlier, much earlier. But then I decided, oh, I'm going to keep going. And... Uh, People probably walking out of walking out of Cracker Barrel going, now what in tar nation is that over there? 
Yeah. No, I don't know. Wonder if they can see it. See it. Uh, maybe we shouldn't make it blank. That does attract attention. <laughs> All right. Oh, let's let's see what yellow is. Yellow. 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 Ah, there we go. That's yellow. Looks white. Uh, let's see. I can dim it too. That's uh, well. I think we're gonna go back to red. Red. Uh, I was pointed up. <laughs> it ain't gonna change. But you know what? I like green. What color do y'all? <laughs> Maybe we'll do, <laughs> take a vote. You want red or green? I don't know. Let's show you green again. That's green. Green's pretty cool. Then we got blue. Make it look like the sky. That's blue. Ooh, that's pretty, pretty cool. I think we're going to leave it on blue for a while. <laughs> yeah. Looks like the sky. All right. All righty. So let's see what we got here. Uh, <laughs> uh oh, Stitch is irritable. What? <laughs> I missed something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mike DeCelio, De I have the backpack that you gave me. Uh, that's one of the backpacks. I've got, um, oh, what do I got in there? I've got, uh, I put all the cooking stuff in that one. Because when I get there, I don't know how we park the car. So I was thinking of, I wanted to have as many different cooking items as possible. Uh, so I packed that backpack with it so I could put them there. Because I don't know what I'm going to cook yet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now there is saying might be storms during the eclipse. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, but if you uh, put a pair of goggles on over that, you can see the eclipse through the clouds. Oh, did not know that. All right. So, hey, I do adventures. That we're here. <laughs> How are you doing? Yep. And then Darlene says, Stitch is irritable or irreplaceable, not irritable. <laughs> Sorry, Stitch. <laughs> Sorry, darling. <laughs> yeah. Ah, the creative kitty. How are you doing? Hello from uh, Wilmington, North Carolina. Welcome to our beautiful state. Also, my birth state. I was born in North Carolina. Yeah, and it is a beautiful state. I do adventure, says, come on over to Snow Hill, North Carolina. Yeah, I him and I talked a little. That's James. We talked a little while ago, and he said, "Oh, you're not too far. You might as well just come on over, and I'll meet you over at the campground. And you can get set up." Uh, but I I want to uh, stay here tonight, and uh, oh, maybe I don't know. But I like Cracker Barrel. I like sleeping in <laughs> Cracker Barrel. But I, I want to do some more filming tomorrow before I get there. Kind of like introy stuff. Yeah, but thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm going to see you tomorrow. And then I want to go to Walmart. I might try to run to Walmart tonight. Might get eggs. I have egg beaters, but I was thinking of getting just real eggs because I got the refrigerator. Might as well. Ah, uh, yes. Look around the parking lot. Sean should be there, Ed says. <laughs> no, I talked to him earlier. Uh, Sean is still driving. He said he was... Uh, gonna go possibly to a walmart i told him no go to a cracker barrel they're much more conducive to stay at a lot of people stay at cracker barrels that are traveling rvs will pull in uh things like that there's a whole parking area over uh, on the other side of the building that you usually park at it's usually a group uh sometimes i've seen as many as um well down when i was down in florida uh working my way back north there was one night, I, I think there was almost 14 different, um, either cars, campers, RVs, um, just smaller class A's, big RVs, all parked. They were, we were all parked in there at night and in the morning. We just saw 
Got up and left. <laughs> Some went and had breakfast, though. Yeah, but Sean is south. He's coming up from Florida, and I'm coming down from PA. Uh, so he's he's got a, about four hours away still, um, even from where I'm at, maybe more. <laughs> Distilling Adventures, I love the cash cab. Yeah. Yeah, that was a good show. <laughs> Fix the cup. Uh, you could replace. Uh, you couldn't replace Tony because the three Stooges aren't around anymore. <laughs> oh, old and cracketated. Uh, oh yeah, the red. You know the red. I really like doing the green. Hey, green hubs. Figured you'd say green, right? <laughs> yeah, green hubs likes the green. Oh, a lot of people like in the green. Oh, I like blue, says uh, Josh. KN says uh, the one in the woods probably uh, was looking for a few friends at Stitch. Yeah, that squirrel definitely was. So I don't think anything's coming out now. It's getting too dark. Hey, I better not use the blue flashing lights unless you want to uh, want some company from the local police. Yeah, right. Oh, right before I went live, there were sirens all over the place. And uh, there was there was sirens, and then I watched as uh, four four uh, fire trucks went racing up the road, um, and then one ambulance um, I saw coming from that way. I can see the road. There's an intersection right up here, or a bridge going over. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. Once you put the glasses on and your eyes adjust to it, then you always got to use them. <laughs> Hey, I can see myself on the screen there. Huh? That looks pretty wild. It's pretty clear. Hope you guys are seeing it that clear, but this phone's being really queer, clear. Uh, the blue's nice too, says Dixie Cup. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Tony is um, irreplaceable too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you, Lou. Hey, Fisher Outdoors Adventures. Uh, good evening, Tony. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Hit that like button, says Dixie. <laughs> yeah. He might be that, too, Tony. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, they're jumping. Uh, I've got to run. Uh, get up. Uh, run. Set up a new computer. Oh, okay, D uh, Daniel. We'll see you, everyone. Have a great night. Uh, continuing to pray for your eyes. Hopefully, they're getting better. Hey, Tony is a one of a kind, <laughs> says Darlene. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, uh. You know, I wonder if my North Carolina accent will come back <laughs> while I'm down here. I, I left when I was one, <laughs> so I don't think so. <laughs> but my mom's South Carolina accent, boy, anytime she goes south, boy, does it come on thick and heavy. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Tony, if you're going to uh, Walmart, uh, get the cinnamon cake. It's better than the Louisiana crunch cake. Yeah, probably by itself it is. I never did a, a pineapple upside down cake with the cinnamon cake before. Never did. Hmm. But yeah, they are good too. Okay. <laughs> Cinnamon uh, one is a strong number two, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, you don't want a strong number two in the woods. LOL. <laughs> you guys are funny. Uh, let's see. Oh, and Cracker Day says, uh, Tony is a one-man crowd. <laughs> uh, well, thank you, old Cracker Day. Yep. All right. I put the glasses down for a minute. Close up my food bucket. Yeah, I got. I'm going to have this for breakfast one more. And I don't know if y'all will see a lot of the stuff that I eat. But I'm having the delish oats. And then I did bring, um, like I said, oh, <laughs> let me show you this. So this uh, is a little container. Is that glass? I think it is. 
Did I get glass? No, that's heavy plastic. So this is um, two sticks of butter <laughs> mixed with uh, organic brown sugar. Oh. Look at that. It's just just straight butter <laughs> mixed with brown sugar. So I, I did that because when I do the Louisiana pineapple upside down cake, 2.0 style, I need butter and brown sugar. So I thought, eh, I'll just mix it all up <laughs> in one. And if I need butter, I'll have one with uh, brown sugar on it already. Yeah. Yeah, so I got that. And I'm going to let you, let Stitch pronounce what this is. <laughs> the cherries. <laughs> so I got the mar... Ah, I always say it wrong. Mar Mach M M Marchino cherries. Yeah. Uh, and then this. Oh, wait do you see what's in here. This container. Nothing. <laughs> I don't have anything in that. That's for uh, any leftovers I have. That way I can do the leftovers and stick them in the refrigerator. Yep. <laughs> and, and there's another container with nothing in it in there, too. <laughs> Let's see if I got any more comments. I'm just... Get these glasses on. Here we go. Hey, Tony with an eye. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Distilling ventures. Ooh, looks good. <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, you got that. That's awesome. Uh, uh, Tony uh, Porter says, my son just uh, came from a visit in Franklin or just came from a visit in Franklin, North Carolina. Wow, Franklin. I don't know where Franklin is. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how far that is from where I'm at. North Carolina is a big state. I'm I'm where I'm at. I know Riley, Raleigh, R R Raleigh, North Carolina is that that way, <laughs> that way. I'm not too far from there because I saw that on the uh, exit. <laughs> Brown sugar and butter, yum. Says Dixie Cup. Yeah, very very good. Uh, pretty close, Tony. Oh. Uh, Mar Sh Sh Marshino, yeah, yeah, yeah. I always go Shano, it's Shino, 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 Shino. But hey, listen to this. If <laughs> I'm gonna say it, espresso, espresso, not espresso. I had been saying espresso, I don't know for how long. And his stitch goes, it's espresso. <laughs> Look how it's spelled. <laughs> I'm like, oh, espresso. I've been saying it wrong all this time. Because I was saying, yeah, if you mix that uh, instant coffee, uh, the Swift instant coffee. Oh, uh, Hammock Mountain. I don't know if he's on here anymore tonight. But if you're, when you watch it later, hopefully you got your coffee. I know he ordered the coffee um, the other day on Sunday. Um, Said he ordered the coffee. I can't wait for you to try it. Really, really good. And that's that Swift coffee. <laughs> I gotta put these on. Ah, it's just too small. Rendezvous. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Rendezvous and not Rendezvous. <laughs> that I said for months leading up to it. Stitch corrected me on that one, too. Or I, I want to say gave me a hint that I was saying it wrong. <laughs> he said, what were you talking about when you were saying run Deverus? And I was like, you know, a get together. He said, did you mean rendezvous? And then we busted out laughing. We were doing that live together. He kept his mouth shut while I was doing the live together with him. And then he said it afterwards. And we laughed for, oh, my goodness, half an hour. Uh, let's see. Dave says, uh, do you have uh, any plans to come through Minnesota? I was in Minnesota um, not too well last year, but I don't have any plans as of yet. Uh, but I certainly will. Lots of great places uh, to see in camp. 
Yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting back there because I just went to. Oh, <laughs> is that? Hey, Brian. So that's a ten dollar super chat. Let's see what that says here. Let me put that up on the screen. Oh, touch it. There it is. So, Tony, uh, always a pleasure to see you from Cape Cod, Brian. Well, thank you so much for that, Brian. I really do appreciate that. That really helps a lot. Uh, like I said, it's, it's, it's just always uh, just such a blessing when, when you guys do the super chats and super stickers. Yeah. Now it's coming up with a five. What what does does anybody know what the five means? Uh, that it shows a five on there. Or oh, maybe it doesn't show it on your side. Uh, I maybe if I oh, I hit my head on there <laughs> on the thing. Um, let's see where it has a. Oh, don't go away! Don't go away! Uh, see the five there. What does the five mean? It's a balloon, five, and a heart. I like that. And <laughs> that is really cool. Oh, wait, wait. Let's celebrate their fifth super chat on a live. Well, let's celebrate that. <laughs> well, I'm I'm so thankful, Brian. Now we I know what the what that means because it says it right underneath the comment. That very, very cool. <laughs> I keep taking the glasses off because I, when I looked in there, I thought, oh, I look corny. I didn't get them for appearance. <laughs> I got them so I could see. <laughs> Let's see. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> I say rendezvous on purpose now. <laughs> Just to annoy, annoy my wife, Josh. <laughs> Well, I, when I looked at it, I thought that's what it said. I said, that looks like it's spelled Rendeavorous. <laughs> you can't doubt me on that, right? Or maybe you can. I don't know. <laughs> then we can get to you up in a holler, <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh, let's see. Uh, Darlene says... Uh, Pointing to thank you, Brian. Mark, definitely thank you, thank you. Awesome, Brian. Everybody's saying awesome here. And fixing too. I'm fixing to get that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot of different terms. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Stitch said you're evil, <laughs> brother. Josh, we're saying rendezvous on purpose. Uh, fifth time giving on a live chat. There we go. Distilling. Thank you. I figured somebody would know. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, hey, Ronald, how are you doing? Uh, the boy from Ace. Oh, well, it's jumping. It's jumping. Hold on. Uh, the boy from Ace Hardware is watching. Ronald. Yeah, you and I were talking just the other day. Well, that's awesome. Well, welcome, welcome. And uh, I don't know if you subscribed yet, but if you didn't, <laughs> go over and hit that subscribe button. And uh, just kidding. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate you jumping on. I certainly do. Nice young man. Uh, if you guys ever get into Ace, go check it out. Ace Hardware. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. And thanks for jumping on to the Thursday Night Live here, which is not usually done. What? Oh, let me get over here. Uh, uh, we got, I got to scroll up over here. Well, Ronald, hey, brother, you didn't have to do that, but thank you so much. And that's number one it shows on there. That shows first time given on a live. Let's celebrate their first super uh, on a live stream. That is awesome. So everybody celebrate Ronald too. Wow, you're already in Carolina. <laughs> yeah. It's the boy from Ace. Yeah, Ronald, I, I left this morning actually um, and started driving around 10 p.m. I got down here around 6.22 to where I'm at right now. 
I was going to stop in Virginia, and I thought, you know, I don't want a whole lot of uh, running tomorrow. Uh, just kind of get up, do some things, get ready to start filming the uh, camping weekend. Um, even though I already filmed just a couple things uh, already, I, I, I wanted to kind of go a little slower. Let's change our blue light to a different color. Because I know a couple people said green. They want to see green. Uh, two, they liked the green. Does it change? Oh, <laughs> changes if you turn it around and point it. <laughs> I had it backwards. There we go. Here's our green. And it should change on your end here in, in a second. Yeah. All right. Ah. Uh, Yeah, Brian. Brian says. Brian says thanks for the compliments. Uh, all, uh, but it's uh, good to have a crowd. Awesome. Yeah, Dixie Cup Ace is the place <laughs> for the helpful hardware, folks. Uh, yeah, right. The, the jingle. Yeah, yeah. Ace is the place for helpful hardware tips. Tips, folks. Uh, yeah, yeah, folks, folks, folks. Thanks, Ronald, says Lou. Uh, Distilling Adventures, uh, you demand, Ronald. Uh, and Brian, thanks, Ronald. Thanks, guys. All right, let me see. Make sure I got, I'm caught up. Match, match. So if I hold it this way, it's a little bigger. So, oh, hey. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, let's see what time it is. Uh, 8.26. And we have been on for, can't tell, uh, one hour and 26 minutes. All right. Okay. So I was hoping this 2.0 came on. But like I said, she must be on a Paul, that's keeping her busy. She's, you know, as y'all know, she's a nurse. Wow, look at that. That light right there. It almost matches the car I'm blending in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And now, let's see if you can see the hotel over here. It's got green lights as well. See that? Yeah. Yeah, that's got green lights now, too. I'm going to walk over this way. You know what? I should take a light. Let's see if you can still hear me if I walk over to the woods. I'm going to shine my light in the woods. <laughs> uh, there's cars driving in, and they're like, what's that guy doing with the walking around with the light? <laughs> if you guys remember, um, as a kid, there was the cartoons that had the light that bounced over the words. <laughs> I remember singing along to all the lights. It would go, you know, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> you all remember the sing along cartoons with the light bouncing light? <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Oh, yeah. Well, I do want to say that that last video, um, the one that was. Uh, Thursday a week ago. That one's done really, really well. That's done over over seven six thousand almost six thousand five hundred views since last last Thursday. Yeah, uh, it seems like it's been longer, but it's only been since last Thursday. Cracker barrels. This one's not as crowded as what most of them usually are. Let me walk you out around the corner. I sh we should go look in the wind and see what people are eating. <laughs> I see this guy looking. Who's this guy looking in the window? Oh, Nick. Thank you so much, Nick. And now I got to read it this way. Let's see. Uh, missed my. Oh, it jumped. Nick says, uh, missed my Sunday night super chat. Oh, uh, Hope your trip is going well so far. So far. Yeah, so far, so good. <laughs> and Nick, I really appreciate that, brother. 
Yeah, I do. In fact, oh, I can heart it over here on this phone because <laughs> I can't. There's no place to heart and like stuff over there. Let me see if I can do that again. I go give a big heart. There we go. Oh, I'm going to need my glasses. Oh, man. When I walked out from around the car, I tell you what, I can really smell, <laughs> smell Cracker Barrel. But like I said, oh, let's see if you can see that helicopter. I know you can hear it. Yeah, there's a helicopter going there. It's going slow. Yeah. Oh, that's wild. That was pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Who's that guy with the glasses? <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's headlights looking right at me. People are wondering, what's that guy doing over there? He's pretty weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Pennsylvania. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, thank you very much, Nick. I really appreciate that. I have camping close to uh, moving water, so peaceful. Uh, Chad says, um, I love camping close to moving water, so peaceful. Um, where is your favorite place? Uh, Thank you, Miss 2.0, for uh, being a nurse. Uh, well, thank you for thanking her. Yeah, well, she was on here. Yeah. Her and I talked for a little bit before she came down. Uh, my favorite place to camp, I love camp next to Lux, next to water and stuff as well. I uh, really, really do. Yeah, very peaceful. That um, Dollar General store camp, that was that that was stealth camp that was a lot of fun and you wouldn't think that that was such a such a little gem uh right next to so much activity <laughs> dixie cup says oh yeah the bouncing light over the songs <laughs> was was that mitch miller uh oh my gosh <laughs> Yeah, I just can't remember what the songs were, but uh, yeah, it's a good thing I would have sung them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, probably medical transport the helicopter. Yeah, I'm thinking that too, Lou, because that's the only thing that I could think of that would be fl why I'd be flying right now. Uh, let's see. Have a good evening. Uh, hope to catch you next time. Alrighty, Robert. Uh, you have a good evening too. Uh, good night, distilling. Uh, let's see. Hot Wheels <laughs> lives. I haven't seen you in quite some time, brother. How are you doing? Uh, you're my inspiration, brother. Well, awesome. Well, thank you so much. Oh, I tell you what, I'm seeing myself on this screen while I'm watching there. So that's I can. I'm looking pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, that looks, that looks neat. <laughs> Squirrel. <laughs> yeah. So that's a holiday in the green lights that we just looked at over there. And then we've got a road right there, a highway. And on the other side of the highway is I can't really tell what those are. It looks like some, oh, that looks like, um, um, more hotels. <laughs> Oh, there's a Holiday Inn Express. Oh, there's quite a few hotels and stuff. Yeah. I know there is a um, Waffle House <laughs> right over there. And they're open 24 hours. So if worst case scenario, if I have to use the bathroom or anything like that, I can run over there because, because once Cracker Barrel closes, there's people that stay after the clean, but you can't get in to use the bathroom. So I always look for gas stations that are open 24 hours when I'm car camping. If um, I need to use the restroom or something, I always know where I can go to use one. But I have emergency ways for the car as well. <laughs> but, 
I've been in the hospital ICU. What? I was uh, born with spina bifida and been in bad health uh, most of my life. Uh, recently lost my leg. Oh, brother. Uh, but I'm pushing uh, like you. Keep pushing. Thank you, brother. Well, God bless you, brother. I'll, I'll definitely be praying for you. Oh, boy. Hot Wheels Live. Yeah. And, and thank you all also for praying for him, too. But yeah, spina bifida, that's, that's, a, that's rough. And I just pray you get healing in your leg as well. I want to be a YouTuber too because of you. Oh, well, if you ever need any advice, uh, send me an email. <laughs> and then we can exchange phone numbers. Um, where am I camping tonight? Timothy says, well, I'm car camping in the car. <laughs> so we're going to car camp. Uh, we're set up. I'm not going to be right here. I'm going to spin you around. Uh, you can see the car. I don't know why I'm spinning. I could have picked it up and just walked it around. Because <laughs> now my light's different. And my stuff is all crooked. Yeah. There we go. There we are. So if somebody's leaving, somebody's full. <laughs> Wonder what they had for dinner. We should we should go ask people. Hey, what'd you have for dinner? <laughs> yeah, got any got any leftovers? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I could put a different outfit on. You know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Probably Rudolph in the sleigh looking for me. That helicopter going over. Yeah, hopefully y'all could have could see it good enough. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, like I said, because we didn't have a video tonight, I still wanted to go ahead and try to do a live uh, just to visit. Uh, for a little bit, let you guys know what's going on, what to expect coming up. Um, if you all don't know, I am going to Woolly Swamp, uh, North Carolina Hammock Hang. Uh, so we're a lot of us are getting together down there. I, think I talked to James. He said maybe 30 to 50 people are going to be there. So I do know Rewild Outdoors. I met him down at the... Um, down at the event down in uh, Florida, down at the Hammock Hangers. I met him. He's going to be there. Him and I already talked this evening. We're going to try to meet up tomorrow. Um, I don't know if I'll get there a little bit before him, but he's going to try to get there, you know, around the noon uh, hour, he was telling me. But then again, you never know. Might get there even quicker. Uh, is your email in your bio? It is in the description of every video, except for this live, uh, because believe it or not, I can't, if I'm at home, I can put the, it all in the description of even a live before I go live. I can do all that, but uh, it's in the description of every video. Just scroll down in the description and you'll see the email. And, uh, but uh, just so you know, it's uh, random adventures, nine, two, seven, at gmail.com yeah all right i'll tell you what i like the the lighting here this be good for filming i might film just a little bit uh, for the video you'll see thursday i might just do a quick little um thing oh that's right i'm gonna i'm gonna tell them <laughs> tell them <laughs> you guys <laughs> I'm going to tell y'all, I'm giving spoilers that I'm going to go to bed, you know, that kind of stuff. So, yeah, there's not much filmed for, because I wanted, I didn't want to do the drive down here so much. So, I'm, I'm, I've got, I had a couple of things um, that should be pretty cool. Yeah. But the hardest part is figuring out how you're going to start a video. Because you want to capture attention, things like that. Because the first 30 seconds, very important. Very, very important. So, yeah. Because that's where you'll see in your analytics. You'll see 
uh, when it comes on, you'll see and it just goes and drops real fast, like within the first 33 seconds. And then it kind of levels out. And then, then depending on the video, it goes, oh, continues to go down. <laughs> or or it goes up a little bit. You know, it, it, it's, it's neat looking at all that stuff. Yeah. All right. Oh, Mario, how you doing? I think I saw that. It was Mario. Ugh. All right. So tonight where I'm at, it's going to be uh, 37 degrees tonight. Mario from PA. All righty, uh, Mario and Aran Arantes. Yes. Brother, how you doing? Uh, Tony, don't drive with those glasses on. No, they they won't work at all. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to hit the hay already. Already, Josh. Uh, have a safe and enjoyable trip, Tony. Good night. 2.0 family. Well, good night. Good night, uh, Josh. And I am going to go as well. I'm going to say lights out, but not yet. Because <laughs> I got some things I want to do. There's a little bit of, I'm going to, I might run to Walmart tonight. Cause I'm not tired. <laughs> yeah. So I might run to Walmart, get the eggs, but I did see a food line on the way in here. And then I might go to Waffle House and <laughs> use their bathroom. Cause I don't want to go in, um, Cracker Barrel right now. It's kind of getting late. Well, it's not that late. I could go in there, but if I go in there, then I'm, I usually, well, I'll go in when I'm staying at a Cracker Barrel, I'll go in about, about this time and i'll drink a cup of coffee and say hey just give me a heads up i'm gonna be in the parking lot over here and they're like oh sure no problem um but i i don't want any coffee i'm i don't i want to go to sleep early tonight so can't see anything else have a great evening everyone yeah good night y'all all right so i am gonna go ahead and say good night All right. Well, uh, hey, thanks a lot for coming along. <laughs> it was just our live, um, which I always enjoy getting on our lives and spending time with you guys. Uh, really enjoy this. And uh, I'm so glad we got to do it in North Carolina. It's been a while since we did an outside uh, live. And it's been a while since we've been done one out of state. Well, no, we did one in Florida, and then I did, did one with uh, Jay, and I also did, Stitch and I did one when we were down in Florida, so it's, but it's been a couple months. I'm glad we got an opportunity to do this again, and I want to say stay tuned. We got more coming, uh, because we're going to have a pretty cool weekend. I don't know what we're going to do, uh, but it's going to be a great hang. Uh, looking forward to it and looking forward to meeting everybody that's there and already coming. But if you're in the area and it's not too far, I'm not planning on leaving. I'm going to be there all weekend long. So we'll see you there if you come. And if not, we'll see you on the next Random Adventures. And I do plan to go live again. Just don't know where from where on Sunday. I believe I will because I love doing our Sunday night lives as well. So... I don't know if I'll make it home by that. It'd be late because I don't, I ain't not, I'm not going to leave too early. Uh, yeah, we'll see. I don't know what we're going to do. All right. Well, Tony 2.0. Ah, let's get the stroke hand uh, 2.0. It's just it's getting tight. It's cold. <laughs> all right. Well, good night, all. Good night, Mary. Good night, Johnny. Uh, the hiking. Freight train. Good night. Good night. All right. Well, we'll see y'all. And y'all have a great weekend. Very awesome. All right. Take care. God bless. And we'll see you on the next one. And the live stream. I hate to do it. See.